Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am on Lunaris RSPS where I'll be doing a server showcase and showing some of the very unique features that this custom server has. Now I did have a look around already and the server looks super awesome. Now I will be hosting a giveaway in this video as well to 3 lucky winners. On the 3rd place you will be getting a pet mystery box, the 2nd place will be a cosmetic mystery box and the 3rd place will be a raid swan casket. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, like the video, comment your in game name down below and turn on the notifications. Anyways. Good luck with the giveaway and let's get into the video. Alright now right before we actually go into the complete video I just want to uh, showcase a few things especially in the beginning when you create your account you have the normal account you have an Iron Man you have an ultimate Iron Man but something that is very unique you actually have dual Iron Man mode. Now what this actually does is that you can actually work together with another Iron Man so in addition to the standard Iron Man rules dual Iron Man can be played with one more um, one other duo Iron Man um, and you can use the dual link token to link your accounts together so then you can actually trade with one person so you can actually do this with a friend and have some amazing fun together by only working together and not being able to work with others so it's basically a very custom way of using the Iron Man which is very nice to do indeed now another thing I'm going to show off before we actually get into the full video is how active their Discord is. As you can see there are a bunch of people in the actual Discord, there are over 1000 people in the Discord and most of these people are very active. As you can see in the voice channels there are a bunch of people actually talking in the voice channels as well so that's super nice. Um, you can also see all the recent drops here, but what's actually very nice is the sneak peeks that you can see here. They will be showing sneak peeks of uh, future updates like right here. You have the Karasi Sword which will be coming very soon and then the next as well which also will be a very nice update for in the future. Now you can also look to the developer log here and you can see that's actually quite active. You can see that they are working on updates 24 7 basically so yeah it's a very active server they are constantly working on adding new content and you can constantly see the progress that they are doing which is very nice also the community is super active so that's another plus all right now starting with the home area i'll just go over this really quickly as you can see it's a custom home area you actually have the dual arena right here so you don't have to go far to actually go staking um, besides that right here there is actually a grand exchange clerk where you can see the auction house now if you open this there are a bunch of people selling their items here you can actually see um, how much it costs when um, it was added how long you have until it expires and who added it um, so yeah, you can basically buy a bunch of items here, you can look through it and hopefully you can find something that you really like. Now besides that, right here you have Captain Donny. This is actually where you can prestige your skills. Now prestiging does have a couple of benefits. For example, you do need um, to, uh, a prestige in Herblore to actually be able to make overloads. Uh, there will be more benefits added in the near future, so that's very nice as well. Now besides that there are a bunch of custom, uh, a bunch of NPCs here with some basic stores, nothing too special. You also have a Slayer NPC where you can get your tasks. Um, then here you have a bunch more of the basic stores. Now you right here you have some thieving stalls but there is something that I do want to show real quick. And that is actually you have a custom pet which is the mini me pet. Now you can customize this pet to however you want to. As you can see mine has Torva, a side of Vitter, these gloves. Um, an infernal cape so it looks really dope you can actually change what it is equipping by using the items on the uh, on the pad but if you do that you will actually lose the item you will never be able to get it back so it is really nice to add items on it but do keep in mind that you will lose those items but the pet actually does have a few benefits as you can see when you are thieving from these thieving stalls you only get one but you can actually spawn this pet and you can actually then uh, if it is spawned steal again but it will now be stealing two items instead of one the pet will actually be doing this together with you so you can maximize your profit now it does that with a bunch of other skills as well you can use it for wood cutting mining etc but you can also use this in pvm as you can see mine does have a lot of pvm gear equipped if i would go bossing he would actually help me out kill the boss which is super awesome so you can do more dps with this pet now another cool thing that they actually have on here is 1 mil 07 tickets now these are tickets that actually can be exchanged for old school rsgp but it will only be able to be exchanged two days in a month it will be able to be exchanged on the 15th of every month and on the last day of every month there will be an administrator which will swap 
um, old school RSGP for these 1 mil 07 tickets. Now, if you don't want old school RSGP, these tickets are still of use because they can be sold in game for about six to seven hundred million each. Now, if you go to the drop logs and you actually search for the item um, 1 mil, um, yeah, if you search for the item 1 mil. Uh, old school RS, you will actually see that it is dropped by two NPCs, the Lunarist Champion, which I'll go to in just a second. And as you can see right here, it is on the very rare drop table, but you can actually manage to get it. You can also get a few other cool items here as well, but it's also dropped by the Incredible Hulk at a very rare drop rate. But if you do get this, you can get yourself some free old school RSGP, which is super nice. Now, there is one very important thing that I forgot to mention about Prestige, and you can actually go up to level 120 in every single skill which is very nice but for some requirements like rates 2 which is a pvming requirement you actually do need a prestige of three times on every single skill so that is actually quite hard because that will take quite a while but once that is done you will be rewarded by being able to go and do rates 2 which is super nice of course Anyways, right now, let's go ahead and have a look to the sponsor zone. Now, this is only for sponsor rank, so this is quite limited. You have to be a sponsor rank to actually access this. But as you can see, the area looks quite nice. I'll have a quick run through of it all, starting down here. Right here, there is nothing too special. You just have a few trees. You do have a sponsor guard, which you can pickpocket for some cash. You can also check the shop right here, and you can buy yourself the samurai outfit here, which is pretty nice, though. But also right here, as you can see, there, are, uh, there is someone PVMing here with his mini uh, mini me pad of him. But you can actually kill the sponsor snake and if you examine it, you can see that you can get some custom items here. You can get a 3 hour XP booster, a, a side hardener, a snake corpse, which I think is a troll drop, but I am not sure. And you can also get a lunar guardian, which is very strong as well. Now besides that, you have a Celestial Rock right here, which is something I haven't seen yet. Now to mine the Celestial Rock, you actually need to use Fire Spells to mine this rock, which is something I haven't seen before. This guy right here is doing it, and it looks quite nice. That's something super unique. You can also craft runes on this cool custom altar, so yeah, that's very nice as well. But one more important thing that you have in this zone is if you go to the waterfall, you can actually climb up the waterfall right here once you are up the waterfall you will see there are a few npcs you have otto the god blessed you have neve uh, and then right here you have vanika where you can get a slave task you also have this iffy which is uh, basically just a troll npc as you can see she is just a weird old lady but what is really special about this is that you have this private portal if you go to it you actually um, end up in an area where you have a bunch of mini pa uh, mini bosses as you can see there is this little corporal beast here it's basically the same as the regular Corporal Beast with that difference, it's smaller and you can actually still get the same drops here. So yeah, that's very nice indeed. There are still a few other bosses like the mini um, Dagonauts right here. Then right here you still have a um, little Cerberus as well, which is, will also drop all the Cerberus drops. So yeah, that's super nice as well. Now another thing about the home area is that you actually do have a fun PK zone right here. If you go in these ice crystal, you do, you do have a fun PK zone where you can actually fight in gear and won't lose it with other players. So yeah, that's pretty nice as well. Anyways, going to the um, Lunar Wizard right here, you can actually see all the bosses that you have. You will have to pay a certain amount of cash to go to these bosses. But as you can see, there are a bunch of bosses. You have Vorkov, Abyssal Minions, King Black Dragon, Kraken, Cerberus, Zulra. And you have four pages of these, but I really like the teleport interface because it has the NPCs themselves, which looks super nice. Um, as you can see, you have some more bosses right here. Um, some more old school RS bosses and then right here you have the lost as well but besides that you also do have the training zones right here that you can go to at the beginning um, or for slave tasks of course um, you also have lava dragons and stuff so that's super nice the wilderness teleports will go over those real quick revenants edge bread zone varrock east dragons etc you also have all these killing zones that you can go to. I really like that they use these killing pads for some of these or some skilling animations. So yeah, that looks super nice. And then you have a few minigame teleports. As you can see, you have Barrows, Raids 1, Raids 2, Warriors Guild, Dual Arena, Pest Control. Um, and you have some more on the second page like Fight Caves, Weapon Game, Clan Wars. Um, and then you have Raids again right here. 
Now, if you go to the, uh, if you want to go to the raids too, I already told us, but you do need to prestige three times um, on all the skills. So yeah, that's quite hard. Now you can actually get raids boxes from these, um, uh, from both of these raids. So if you go to the drop log, I'll just show the loot you can get from these raids boxes real quick. So if you search for the NPC and you uh, you type raids, you will actually end up finding the raids chest and the raids two chest. Now the regular raids chest gives the ballista, dragon warhammer, and some jewelry, which is super nice. But you can also get the raids two chest right here, which will give. Um, some of the Rage 2 armor. Now besides that you can also type Tecton in the search NPC and then you will actually see that Tecton right here drops all the Rage 1 armors and um, weapons as well so that's super nice there as well. Now to end off the video really quickly I'm going to open a few mystery boxes. I'm going to start with the pet mystery boxes. As you can see they have a scrolling system right here so you can actually see which pet you will be able to get from this. I suppose that it's the same with the um, cosmetic mystery boxes so I'll just be speeding this up and putting some background music on it. Um, but I did manage to get the um, Scorpio pet for the first one. Anyways I'll be putting some background music now and opening all up all the boxes. Holy shit, we just actually landed on a super rare item. No way, we actually did just get a super rare item. This is like insanely rare. Damn, um, okay, this is, wow, I, d I definitely did not expect this one. Okay, that's, that's crazy. Oh my god, it actually looks super dope as well. Damn, okay, that, <laughs> that's so sick. Okay, I'm banking this Ultra Swipe part yet now. This is way cooler. Now I'm going to open up these jewelry boxes, um, legendary boxes and max caskets. Let's have a look what we can get from these. I'll just quick open these actually real quick. Oh, we got a ring of wealth imbued. We got a um, classic armband, nothing too special. Uh, oh, we got a crawling ring, which, um, oh, this, this morphs us in a crawling hand. Okay, that's actually quite nice to see. That's uh, quite fun. Anyways, let's open up these legendary caskets real quick. I didn't notice the quick open option on the other caskets. So um, yeah, we're just getting some cash, drink claws. From the next caskets, we will be getting... Um, oh, I suppose you cannot quick open the... Uh, oh, it's check steps that's on it. It's not quick open, my bad. So yeah, I'll be opening these real quick as well then. Okay, so we didn't get anything too special from that, just a bit of cash right there um, and a few items, but nothing too special. Let's open up these 5 Raids 2 caskets and then the Vorkov mystery chests as well real quick. And uh, let's see if we can get lucky from these. <laughs> Alright, so we did actually manage to get a very rare item from the um, raids boxes, which was the ancestral head. Now let's have a look here what we can get from this. Um, we did get two dragon keys, which can be used for um, going to a certain boss, but I did kind of forget which one. We also did get a rune pouch and a dragon pickaxe, but nothing too special there. By the way, another really cool thing is that you can actually fly on the server. I love this feature so much. You do, however, need to be a donator to actually do this. But I do love this feature that you can fly on the server. That looks so amazing. It's like I'm fucking Superman, guys. <laughs> okay, now I didn't notice this at first, but I did just now notice this. But this um, guy right here, Harry, he has a drop simulator. So let's say I want... Um, let's say for the Lunaris Champion, I want to see how much um, loot I would get for, let's say, 500 kills. Let's see what we can get... Um, and let's see right here. Okay, so for 500 kills, we would get 1 mil old school RSGP. Um, we would get 425 mil cash, some casket elite, some phoenix quill pans, some lamps. So um, yeah, I do really love this feature that you can actually check how uh, what loot you would get if you would kill 500 on average. Of course, if you refresh this, you will get a totally different drop table. Um, so you can get better or worse loots from time to time, as you can see. But I do like this feature. It will give you like an average view of what you will get if you kill so many of those bosses. 
And that actually just gave me the idea of actually refreshing what you would get from the Rates 2 chest for 500 chests. And as you can see, you can get actually quite a lot of really cool items. Now I can do the same for the regular Rates chest, as you can see right here you can get a bunch of cool items here as well so yeah that's pretty nice anyways guys this is where i will be ending off today's video i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure you are entered in the giveaway there will be three lucky winners so three of you guys will be winning some of these prizes um, i'll be picking the winners in about two days but anyways if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you smash that like button subscribe if you didn't already turn on the notifications and i'll be catching you guys in the next video peace